Pat Walker here with Mission Winners. Time for the top stocks this week that you should have on your watch list. These are stocks that have been carefully vetted. They are all key list stocks and just ones to take a look at. First stock on the list, by the way, this is sorted by industry group rate first. Avgo, all righty, Broadcom, Semiconductor, group number 23, composite rating 99, B plus accumulation distribution, relative strength 93, leading the stock in the new high ground. You can see the base right here, and I'm going to show you a great tactic that I've used for years, and I taught at IBD meetups. It does not need to be a clean and simple flat base. Just a simple long line right here. What do we want to see? Take out the line right there. Take out the highs of this bar. The high on this bar, just to let you know, is 180 and 25 cents. So 180 and 30 cents. Composite rating 99, relative strength 93, B plus accumulation distribution, as I said. That's what we look for. Relative strength, again, 93 near new highs. So it's working, but what's it need to do? Take out that line and take out that line with volume. That could be an entry. Let's continue onwards here. NVIDIA, max list stock. You can see this tough across here. And I'd like to show you, and again, this is, this is a great lesson for everybody. Simple downward sloping trend line right there. Connect in the highs. Earnings per share rank 99, composite rating 99, timeliness A, relative strength 97, group 23. It's a max list stock. Rising earnings estimates, okay? Now, here's the only negative. It has an accumulation distribution of E, as in Eddy. That's the worst you can get. It tells us there's institutional selling in the bar, and you can see it here. So what do we need to see? Well, you see that clean and simple downward sloping trend line? It needs to take out those tops, and it needs to take it out with volume, decisive volume above this line, volume heavier than these bars. If it doesn't have those constraints, we don't buy. That's simple. And again, great estimates going forward. And it's got a composite rating of 99 and an earnings per share rating of 99, folks. You can't get better than that. Let's move on to the next one. Amazon. What do we see with Amazon? Well, it's forming along here. Excuse me. It's forming along here a nice, clean, longer cup with handle. Earnings per share rank 81, composite rating 92. Folks, it's a max list stock. Timeliness B, last quarter's earnings of 94%. Earnings estimates, they're looking for a 63% increase in earnings this year over last year and a 24% increase next year over this year. I can say all that, but I'll tell you what, it's a max list stock. That's the key. Money goes to those stocks. So what do we want to do? Well, you've got a downward sloping trend line. There was a slight lift off here. This would be an aggressive entry. Okay, I'm getting more advanced for everybody. Bouncing off the rising 21 day, take out the tops of that bar right there. Could be a potential buy across there. The high on that bar, just to let you know, is 187.60. There's also this longer base. Take out the tops and you can see it. It's a cup with a handle, folks. Here's the cup and there's the handle. There could be a spot taken up the line right there too. Put this on your computer and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. There we go. Let's move on. Google. There we go. What do we want to do with Google? Well, folks, I'll just tell you. Earnings per share rate 98. Composite rating is 84. Time, uh, excuse me. Accumulation distribution is C. Timeliness is C. Why is it lagging? some of these numbers lagging because the stock has been lagging. But do you see the clean and simple base right there? See the volume pickup on that bar? See the volume pickup on this bar? People look at that. Institutions look at that. We look at that. Go across these tops. What's the high right there? The high on that bar is 169.16. The high on this bar is 168.23. Just take out that line right there. You can draw it yourself. What's the high on this bar? 168.64. Go across there. So what are the constraints? We need to see it push through this line. We need to see it push through with really good volume. That's what we need to see. And we need a good market. All three constraints must be met. We are very stringent in mission winners. I managed a lot of money through the years and it's the way I had to do it. And it works. 
it works. Let's continue onwards. Netflix. And you can see Netflix has right here a cup. Here's the cup with the high handle. Go across these tops. It is a matchless stock, as I stated. Take this out. Earnings per share rate 98, composite rating 98, B minus accumulation distribution, rising earnings estimates. They're looking for a 59% increase in earnings this year over last year. They're looking for a 20% increase in earnings next year over this year. Folks, institutions look at that stuff. I'm not kidding. They do. We know that. Relative strength 89. You can see the top. And again, composite rating 98. What do we want to see? Take out this top line across these highs. The high on this bar is 725.26. The high right here, 725.12. Just take out 725.30 with volume and a good market. That's what we're after. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.